G'day guys and welcome back. Oh, sorry about that. G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of First Mate Adventures. Uh, we're doing something, again, different. We're up on uh, my local waterway, uh, which is uh, at the bottom of a dam release. And uh, yeah, let's just say the tide's in. Um, plenty of current, plenty of runoff from the recent floods and rain. So as you can see, I'm about to drift into some behind me. <laughs> it was absolutely ripping through the narrows over there. Um, but you know, you gotta, gotta get through it. Have a look and see what's going on. Um, I suppose it's more of like an exploratory thing today, guys. I don't often get to do this um, and travel up river a long way because of the, uh, the lack there of water. But today we've got plenty of it to share around. So we're gonna go and have a look, see how far we can get. Um, hopefully we uh, see some cool stuff. So uh, sit back, relax, come along for the ride, and let's see what we can't find. Have a go at the turbulent water there. I wonder what'll happen if we sat in it. Look at this. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, let's boogie. Definitely not sure the water now. Right up there. Awesome. Love it. Whew. All right, guys, we haven't exactly gone the furthest up river today. Um, and that's because somebody may have forgotten to maintain his jet ski properly and it's thrown up a sensor fault. Oops. <laughs> so. We've gone as far as I feel comfortable to be able to swim back or row back or drift back, judging by the current. Um, but yeah, we just pulled in here to this little beach. So where we are here, guys, 
This all formed on the last flood that we had. And this is normally, all through here, is normally sand. So you can see how much has actually been uh, reclaimed by the river with this recent downpour. I just wonder how much of the river, uh, the beach, good old beach, is going to be left after this. As you can see, people have taken a liking to it, come down here, have their little campfires and whatnot. Let's go for a bit of a wander in here. Haven't been over here yet. Let's walk up this little hill here. Have a look at the devastation, guys. These trees were knocked down from the last floods we had through here, which were heaps better, heaps bigger. So you can see like how flattened everything is. Everything's hung up in the trees. Trees are stuck on trees. Incredible. All of it through there. It's amazing. The sheer force of Mother Nature. Somebody's got their firewood stock. It's a good idea. Bits of burnt timber and whatnot. Come down from up river, obviously. Just go for a wander over here. There's charcoal everywhere. Ooh. Oh, here we go. How's this? Somebody's got himself a little setup. How good's that? A little fire pit. Hang on, there's a sign here. Corey and Rachel's retreat. How cool is that? Somebody's claimed it. <laughs> That's awesome. The current right for there. How awesome is that? Good to see people making the most of it, especially during COVID times where we can't do anything else. So we might as well be out on the water, making the most of your local waterway, like those kids did. Gonna uh, go back up, try and get a shot of the waterfall behind me, and then another one up a little bit further. Um, I'm not gonna go too far today. It's like literally the boat ramps just down there. So I could drift back if I needed to. Or I can call my friends and they'll come get me. But, uh, cause good old McLovin's not feeling too crash hot today. It's not wise to go too far. And literally McLovin, look. <laughs> Bit of a story, but any rate. Um, so we're gonna go back over the other side of the Narrows now. We'll try and get a shot of that uh, waterfall and then uh, we might call it. But this is my backyard. This is where I like to come and hang out with my family where you see a lot of our little cooking videos on the river. Let's do it, let's go back up. So guys, the general speed limit through this uh, narrow section as signposted by Maritime is four knots. Four knots is roughly about the ski just in gear. Um, and I'll show you, just in gear isn't going to cut it today. This is the current we're driving into. Pulling me sideways. But this is just in gear. Even the markers are getting dragged under there's that much current. Unbelievable. Wow. It's supposed to get worse over the next couple of days as well. More rain's forecast for our area. Just get past it.
I'll stop here and I'll be gone. Look at it. I know there's rocks just in front of me here. I've seen them at low tide. We can't be at low tide. Oh, low tide. It's just speaking like it's a tidal river. It's only tidal when it rains. Look at it. So much force. All right. I am working my arms off just to try and stay in a straight line here. we picked up like an old big stainless hill tank floating down the river. I thought it was a keg, got a little bit excited. But no. This time, found a football. Pick that up, take it back to the boat ramp, leave it for one of the local kids. Guys, I can't stress this enough. I would not recommend doing this. The amount of debris that's in the water, it's probably not safe. Uh, I've been around the water long enough to know better, um, but I've also been around the water long enough to look out for certain things. Um, I'm not screaming along, guys. I'm just checking things out slowly. There's heaps of debris right through here. Uh, just picking the right channel with the least amount of crap through it and just slowly puttering through, basically. If you have a look down here, all the debris right through there so we're on this side of it now as you can see we're nice and clear there is your debris line so safety first as always what a crazy place Well, that's it guys, that's the end of another adventure. Nice quick one, checking out a flooded uh, river system, having a look at a few different things that you don't normally get to see whilst there's uh, no copious amounts of water around. So on that note guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button and give it a good old thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if you feel free and we'll get back to as many people as we can. Uh, on that note guys, thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next adventure.